Hi, my name is Wani, a year 3 student currently pursuing the diploma Marine and Offshore Technology from the School of Engineering and you're watching Of Course NP where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an NP student in my course is like. I will be having my first lesson later at 10am but I have a bit of time before class start so I decided to get some food and lunch and while eating, I'm going to check my emails so that I do not miss out on any important announcements. My practical lesson is going to start soon. It is from 10am to 12pm and the module is called Fundamentals of Naval Architecture 3. Before every practical, every student is required to do a safety assessment to ensure that everyone knows what are the rules in a lab. The topic for today's lesson is called Wetted Surface Area and it refers to the surface area of the ship that is in water. The objective of this class is to learn how to calculate wetted surface area. The wetted surface area is used to determine the resistance of the ship. Right now, I'm going to show you something really cool, which is our very own towing tank on campus. The towing tank is capable of performing various tests and experiments on ship resistance, such as frictional resistance and wave-making resistance. The ship model is towed in the tank in order to measure the force required to move the ship and the reading from the experiment will be converted to the actual ship design. So I'm done with my practical class. My next class starts at 1pm, so I'm back at lunch to get my lunch. The next class that I'll be having is from 1 to 5pm and it is an interdisciplinary studies module called Project ID. This module has a project-based learning approach where students from different courses work together to solve issues that affect Singapore. My group has decided on the topic of reducing single-use plastic. Right now, we have to decide on which area of focus we should work on as well as a focus driving question or FDQ for short. And after that, we need to conduct primary research so that we can understand Singaporeans' recycling habits. To do that, we have to create a simple survey. This module helps me to improve my skills in aspects of creative thinking, problem solving, communication and critical thinking. Fun fact, all MP students will have to take IS modules from year 1 to year 3 in areas outside of their chosen course of study. Right now, I'm taking a break from studying, so I'll use this time to answer some questions. So, some of you may be wondering why did I choose to go NP, and one of the reasons why is because of my course. This course mainly focuses on naval architecture, which is ship designing. I've always been interested in designing as well as understanding how things work. Therefore, MP's marine and offshore technology aligned the most with my interests. When I was on my internship, I was glad that I was able to apply concepts that I've learned in school into the real-world projects that were given to me. This internship made me realize how big and diverse the marine industry is. There are so many different branches and you can pursue different careers such as in design, research, maritime business, and even in offshore industries. After my internship, I decided to continue working in the marine industry because working in this industry is so vibrant and you get to work in different environments like in the office, shipyard and even on the ship itself. Personally, I like to get up close with the operations so I hope to be able to work in a shipyard again and get to oversee the building of vessels from start to finish. Okay, I'm done with my work now. I hope I have helped you learn more about marine and offshore technology course. Do let us know in the comments which course you would like to see next. Bye-bye!